Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can create a map chart like this and then plot the circles on top of it. Generally, if you will try to do it, you will get two different charts. So what we will do is take an advantage of dual access to do it. So let's see how we can configure this. For that, I'll create a new sheet and uh, what I'll do is drag, well not city, it will be pretty dense. I'll take the state. Here I have the different states in, within the United States and uh, after that um, first thing I will going to take is the profit. Um, here is the profit but what I want is profit um, to be if I filled up so filled map well um, sum of profit is over here and uh, on this we want the circle as sales so if i just drag the sales over there it will create a new chart for us and if we try over here and see we don't find a dual axis so what do we need to do we just need to drag this out here first and take latitude again over here it will create a similar chart for us now I have latitude for this chart and latitude here, a second one for this chart. So for the second one, what I'll do is I will remove the profit and put sales, sum of sales um, and sum of sales as circle. All right. And I will, uh, yeah, state should be as it is. And I will just make the color as black. So it is properly here uh, one thing is the sum of sales should not be on detail but on the size so that it is properly sized and intuitive enough then I will go here and click on the dual axis and this way I will now have the filled map filled with profits on top of that we have sum of sales and which for which we can increase the size if it is not very intuitive or good enough so it, it indicates for example, a state like Texas where a sales is comparatively higher, but you are not profitable. Same is the case with these different uh, different states. So this way you can create a filled map, a filled with some numeric category. So in this case, profit. And on top of that, you can show the sales amount for doing the comparative analysis and make your chart more intuitive so that it is communicating more. Well, that's pretty much it. I will meet you in the new video. Some new topic.